Good evening. I'm making dinner, so I thought I'd bring you along. Um, in the effort to keep showing you super simple recipes that taste good, that are family friendly, and that won't take a lot of mental effort and a lot of work, I've been really trying to think of what I can show you that you will love, but also won't take much effort. And so, this meets that criteria plus my favorite criteria, which is I don't like to do dishes. So I'll go to a lot, a lot of links <laughs> to avoid dirtying dishes, like mixing things together that don't need to be mixed together. This one meets that criteria. So we're gonna do sheep pan salmon. I've already got it prepped for you, but I'm gonna walk you through it. And then I'll put the finished product later. But I'm gonna walk you through what I have here. Sheep, sheep pan salmon could work with any veggies you want. Asparagus is very traditional. I can't digest asparagus well, so I'm not using it because this is my real dinner tonight. But if I was you, um, I think I'd probably, instead of green beans, I would probably have asparagus because they work perfect. They cook at about the same time as the salmon. The seasonings work perfect. But for me tonight, I'm going to use green beans, uh, red bell pepper, squash, yellow squash, and broccoli. I love roasted broccoli. I like roasted broccoli anyway outside of a one pan salmon dish. So roasted broccoli is right up my alley. In fact, a huge pan of roasted broccoli is wonderful. So what we're doing tonight is I started with a whole bunch of veggies, which I'm gonna use throughout the whole week in different ways. So I've got broccoli, just cut up, thrown on, green beans, uh, a little bit of a red bell pepper, just a smidge. I'll have enough to do several things with it this week. And then um, yellow squash. I have potatoes on here, which will be my starch. And this is probably more than one serving of potatoes. I'm gonna measure this again when I'm done. But I measured the veggies. The combination of squash, broccoli, green beans, and peppers is eight ounces. So what I did was I cut it all up and then I laid it on my food scale and I just kept adding and adding and adding till I got to eight ounces. So this represents eight ounces. When it starts as eight ounces fresh, you don't need to weigh it again. It doesn't matter what it weighs after it's cooked. You only need to weigh your cooked veggies if they start off frozen or they're leftovers. But if you know what they weighed fresh and raw, you're good to go. So we have eight ounces here. This salmon I bought today the plan had been that I was gonna make an, a huge piece, I was gonna make enough for four, but my family ended up eating dinner without me, and so I'm making a one portion. But for you, you could triple or quadruple this and have leftovers or meal prep for the week, or this could be a family meal. So I've got salmon. I cut off one piece, it was about five ounces. Um, on the Metabolic More menu, your serving size is four ounces. On More Level One, it's six. But this is full of water, it started off frozen, so I overweight it just a little because I know when it cooks down and releases a little bit of this water, it's gonna cook down from five ounces to about four ounces cooked. So I have my salmon, my veggies, and my potato. Now here's the deal, potatoes take a lot longer to cook. Potatoes um, would need much more time than the rest of this plate. So I actually pre-cook these potatoes for about seven minutes in my air fryer. You could throw them in the oven first on this pan for 10 minutes and then put everything else on and put it back in the oven. You can even microwave it. But you do wanna par cook, partially cook these potatoes. Otherwise, they're still gonna be hard and everything else is gonna be done. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to season this. Now, I'm not using this tonight because this wasn't the mood I was in. But you could use something like a Mrs. Dash. There's tons of different marinades. And this sweet teriyaki would be really good. Tonight, I'm using something a little more simple. I have one teaspoon, one tablespoon of olive oil, which is my healthy fat serving. I have mustard. I want Dijonais. Um, I wish I had um, a Dijon mustard, but I didn't get it at the grocery store. So I just went ahead and put a little bit of yellow mustard in. Mustard is a great complimentary flavor to salmon. I added in Italian seasonings. 
And then you guys know I can't tolerate garlic and onion, but I put it out because if I was you and I could in my former life, I would put lots of garlic and onion. The other thing that would be awesome on this, I just don't have, would be some lemon wedges. And when this was done, to squeeze some lemon across the whole thing. So just keep that in mind. So now I've got this and I've already coated my veggies, but I'm gonna coat them a little bit more. I just didn't want you to have to spend the whole time watching. So what I did was I coated my salmon and then I went across and I coated the rest of my veggies. Like I said, I've already done this. I just left a little bit for you to see. This is gonna season them. Also, it's gonna help them to cook and get a little bit crisp with the oil. I did salt and pepper the, the salmon before I did any of this to give it a little extra pop of flavor. And now this is ready to go. This is the whole dinner. One pan, when it comes out, I'll take this aluminum foil, throw it in the garbage, and I'm done. It's gonna give me one portion of salmon. It's gonna give me my full veggie portion. And then I will weigh out these cooked potatoes and I'll have two ounces of cooked potatoes. And then I'll either give the rest to my family or I'll save it and it'll be my starch for tomorrow. This is probably two servings, but we'll see when, I, when, I, when it's done cooking. So this is my sheet pan salmon. Simple, easy, could definitely be for the whole family. It's gonna go in the oven for 15 minutes on 400 degrees. I'll put all of this in the recipe caption for you. And that's it. Now, let's talk a little bit about what, what if you were doing this for your family and everybody wanted to eat. Well, here's the thing that I love. Sometimes you can make a meal that's for you and tweak it for your family. So let's assume this was a whole family meal and I had a bigger sheet pan. I could have lots more potatoes on here. Certainly I'm gonna eat my two ounces, but my husband, my kids, whomever, they could have a whole side of potatoes for all I care. They could have their piece of salmon and a whole side of potatoes. I could put carrots on here. There could be vegetables or carbs on here that are not for me. That's the beauty of the sheet pan. I could also put more veggies on here. Maybe I don't have any potatoes. Make a side of rice for the family. They can eat rice, I don't have to. I've got my whole meal. But the base of the whole meal would be their salmon and the veggies and the potatoes or the rice. And then they could have what they wanted. This can be very personalized. You could have two pans. One could be yours and you could just have a, another sheet pan. And it could have two pieces of salmon. It could have green beans. Maybe your kids only like green beans. You could have green beans and then a bunch of potatoes for them. So this is versatile and you can change the veggies out for the ones that your family likes. You could even have veggies for some people and other veggies for other people. That's the beauty of the sheet pan. Um, if you're making this for other people, they could have a different sauce on top or they could have exactly the same sauce, but you could do a little something else to theirs. Okay. So that's, this would be the base, and then you could build from there. But just like it is, everyone will love it, I promise you. In 15 minutes, I'll take a picture and pop it in the caption, so you, or in the comments below, so you can see what it looks like. But this took me three minutes to prep. It's gonna take 15 minutes to cook, and this is a gourmet meal with zero work, really. So, hope you enjoy. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Leave a comment below if you're watching. If you're watching right now, hit the like or the heart. Tell me where you're watching from. Say hi. I'd love to hear what you're doing this weekend. I um, went to the grocery store. It's my big excitement. And tomorrow I'm going to TJ Maxx for the first time in eight weeks. So big excitement for me. Um, but I'd love to hear from you and what you're doing. Hope you have a great weekend, you guys. Talk to you later.